Hello everyone and welcome back to SnowRunner. And it is official DLC for season six has arrived. You can see that uh, we are in the main region right here. Uh, this is the uh, garage. Now there are missions uh, in, in the garage area to fully make it work. So uh, there's not much uh, we're going to do here, but I wanted to take this time to just let you guys know, this is not a let's play video today. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about what came out with uh, this season six, phase six, however you want to call it. And then kind of also talk about the let's play that I'm going to be starting back up in January. So we'll start with uh, with my uh, let's play just to get that out of the way. So I'm not gonna recap what I've already recapped, but uh, what I wanted to expand upon is uh, the remark I put in there about how the gameplay was gonna be a little bit like hard mode, just not in hard mode. Basically how that's gonna work is uh, I'm gonna be using cranes in any area on whichever region I'm playing that require uh, that has like a manual load. So if I can manually load it, a crane will be used. So I'll have, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start this up here. I'm gonna have uh, some kind of truck with one of the full size cranes in it. So that way it doesn't really matter, you know, what the cargo is, it can load it. That's sort of uh, where the hard mode uh, style comes in. Now, uh, a couple of new things I'm gonna be doing is what I'm gonna call featured mod truck and a featured mod trailer. So uh, I'm gonna be playing with both regular DLC trucks, which we have two out with the new main region here. And I'm also gonna have mod trucks and I'm gonna be featuring uh, either a different mod truck or package per se uh, for each uh video or maybe maybe do it per month or whatever I'm still working out the details for that uh and the same goes for uh the mod trailers there's some really really good mod trailers out there so i just kind of want to play around with some of those and i'm also going to be doing more what they call it high saddle low saddle type trailer hauls so i'm not going to do as many of the uh, two slot tr uh, trucks, unless it's very specific to that truck, you know? So if, it, if, it, if a truck doesn't have the ability to change its, what it can do, you know, like, for instance, the, um, uh, the MK38, right? So you can't change uh, the back of the MK38, but, you know, it's a good, it's a decent truck, so. Things like that. So we have a few trucks out like that one where the bed can't be changed. And if I'm using it, then, you know, obviously I'm not gonna be pulling a saddle trailer, but I'm gonna try to pull more uh, larger uh, trailers and things like that, just so we can uh, enjoy the complexity of taking something large, you know, transporting a large amount of stuff in one sitting, so. Uh, but I'm going to be doing featured uh, mods, uh, featured mod trucks, and featured mod trailers. So uh, we're going to look for that uh, as part of the segment for the Let's Plays. So that's uh, mostly what I wanted to, to get across with, uh, with that. I'm going to be starting it up in January. As you can see, I do have this. Uh, this is one of the uh, in-game uh, scouts, if you will. So I... I did unlock this. Uh, this is the actual playthrough that I'll be using in the Let's Play. So um, this was one of them that I got as I'm going through trying to get back to level 30. Um, as at the time of this recording, uh, I'm at level 17, so I still have a ways to go, but uh, uh, I will get there before, uh, before January, uh, so that way I can continue uh, the Wisconsin playthrough. I'm also going to go ahead and play this map as well. So I'm gonna be running two Let's Plays at the same time in SnowRunner, uh, Wisconsin, continuing, and then this one from the beginning. So that's why I'm not doing too much in here because I don't wanna 
oil any of this for January. So I'm just sort of just driving around for the sake of driving around. All right, so let's get into uh, phase six. Obviously, uh, this is the main map. Uh, Maine as in the state of Maine, not um, anything else here. Uh, so this is the lowland ma uh, map part of the region. Oh, that hurt a little. Uh, there's also the Yellow Rock National Forest. So we have two maps in this region. Um, I don't know if it's gonna expand beyond that, but that's what we have. Uh, there are two new uh, DLC trucks that, uh, that are out. The uh, Armatsu Forester, which uh, I know you guys have probably seen other content creators use. It's basically a straight Forester vehicle. Um, if you've ever played Farming Simulator, you, you've seen it before. Uh, and then there's the Tega 6455B. Now, uh, it's, I don't know how far that, how far of a difference that one is from the Tega that I've been driving, but I'm sure it's, it's probably a variant of some kind. Uh, there's a bunch of new stickers. We also have some new scout trailers. There is now a medium logging add-on. So, uh, that's really good. Uh, and that might, you know, lessen the amount of, uh, trailers for that maybe a little bit uh, but uh, it's available for a bunch of different trucks such as the white western star the western star 49 uh, two of the bronze the step royal pay star the uh, two of the pacific trucks the international pay star the hx520 the gmc 9500 you know our our favorite the the freightliner uh 114 sd uh two of the cats the 680 and 681 and the Azov 73210 uh, and the 5319. Uh, there uh, was some tournament skins announced in here. Um, one for the Tega 6436, the Kolob, the, uh, the Ford uh, F750, and the Azov 64131. There is a, a newer version of the MK38. Uh, I think they refer to that as the civilianized model. So it does have, uh, I believe, the high and low saddle variant. I can't show you guys uh, what these look like in the store because the garage is mostly disabled to where you can't get access to the store. The only thing you can really do is uh, get something out of storage. So... So as you can see here, uh, there's a bunch of features that are locked out. So we have to do some missions before we can actually get full use out of the garage. So all you have is the storage. And obviously, because I have this out, I can I can leave it. So there's also a new photo mode. Now, I'm, I'm not sure what the photo mode keys are. So let's, let's check the, uh, oh, it's right here. Photo mode. Ah. All right, so we have photo mode. You can you can change the time, default, on and off. you can turn the driver on and off. That's cool. You have exposure settings, so you can do some messing around with that. So various uh, things to sort of make it all look good and get some good good zoom ins. Focus mode, some aperture settings. You can kind of blur out the background, so that'll be fun. So that's cool. So this will be really good for taking screenshots. So, and there's even a free cam. Not sure how it works. Let me see. I have to hold down. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. Arrow keys, maybe. I don't know. That's interesting. I'll have to play around with that. But that's kind of cool. We'll photo mode. The CAT 770 now has upgradable winches. Uh, there's a few other things like a gearbox fine-tuned for the Freightliner 9, uh, 916A1. The DAN now has active suspension. There's a high suspension for the International Transtar 4070A. Uh, new engine for the Dairy Longhorn, that, that should be good. Special notification if player's truck is located inside building zone when he is trying to complete objectives. Well, I mean, we saw that in the last video. Um, maybe they did something different. 
Compatible uh, special add-ins, evacuator, seismic vibrator are now displayed for each truck in the truck store. That's cool. We can't look at the truck store right now, but uh, I'll take their word for it. Now that's another, that brings up another point. So if I'm doing uh, my Let's Play and I need to do something like a seismic or whatever, obviously I'm gonna put it on there. Cause you know, unless they have a trailer with one of those on it, <laughs> that's the only way it's gonna get uh, done. The custom scenarios menu now has the option for normal or hard mode. So that's cool. Like if you wanna do some like special map uh, testing. In-game browser of available DLCs in the content library. Oh, do we? Ah, right here. Here you go. So this kind of shows uh, all of the DLCs. You can see I've got pretty much everything. I think the only thing I don't have is like, I think this is the only one I don't have, honestly. I have everything else. Ooh. Let's see. Not purchased DLC trucks and regions are now available in preview in the game. Okay. Uh, fixed a bug where, so we all, we also have bugs with co-op. Uh, apparently they fixed one. Logging. So they, they fixed some bugs in that. I haven't really done, I've done some of the logging, you know, depending on the map. So anything that fixes some of that would be good. All right, so there is one patch that came out with hard mode and it goes as follows. Fixed a bug where defeat conditions and rewards were not displayed in the contest pop-up window when passing the last attempt. Okay, well, there you go. So there are uh, a lot of various um, patch notes and things and I'm looking at the Steam one, uh, even though my game is not from Steam. Uh, I was just looking at the Steam one to get the notes there, but uh, there you go. Uh, that's phase six, and I, I look forward to checking this out in more detail uh, starting in January. So uh, with that being said, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have a lot of SnowRunner content coming in 2022, and uh, I feel... Uh, I'm excited. You know, there's a lot, uh, a lot happening, a lot of things that we're going to do. And uh, if you want to buy SnowRunner right now, I believe it's on sale. So check it out uh, on Steam or the Epic Game Store. And uh, I'll see you in the next Mud Pit.